Baker Engineering near Swansea have just recently invested in a DMG Mori CLX 350 machine. We are going to find out exactly what they're making on this machine and why they purchased it. But first of all, Steve, you said you were not going to buy this initially because it was too expensive. That's what right. happened? Yeah, well, <laughs> DMG, uh, in all fairness, they do their own finance. Uh, they came up with some very good options, um, including balloons at the end of payment because there's a very good residual value on the machine. So uh, they can do a balloon at the end of it. And at the end of the day, it actually costs us less per month to buy this machine than the other one we were looking at, which was quite a lot cheaper. Isn't that fascinating where, you know, you're almost getting a higher spec of a model, but for a lower monthly payment? And that's what it's all about, the cost effectiveness. So, uh, you know, monthly payments are less on this one than they were on the more expensive machine. So, uh, twisted my arm to buy this one, basically. <laughs> well, there you go, but I know you're very happy with the machine. Yeah. Um, so, the machine is sitting in your machine shop now, um, but what was the reason? Because you've got a machine shop full of sliding head machines. Yeah. What does this one do that's different? Yeah, sliding head machines. We've always had turret machines, a couple of them, and this was a replacement. Okay. Um, and it's more efficient, it does more, it finishes the parts complete for us. So the previous turret machine we had didn't do that. So uh, it's got sub-spindle, live tooling, and it's a complete support completely for us off the machine in one hit. And there's some hurdles you've had to overcome because you went for something quite specific. Yes, well we are generally a FANUC workshop. Uh, the Stars and a lot of the other machines are FANUC. Um, DMG quite often come with Siemens controllers, but we asked for FANUC and not a lot of them around. So. There was a few problems initially getting it going, but they were extremely helpful um, in getting us on the FANUC side of the machine, basically. Right, let's find out more about that. Josh, this is your baby, isn't it? No one else in the machine shop's allowed to touch it yet. Yeah, nobody's allowed to touch it, and this one's all mine at the moment, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long that's going to last. Yeah. Um, OK, so um, you have had some hurdles, as your dad said, in regards to um, going for a FANUC on this machine. So how have you got around that? Yeah, well, there was a few, like say, road bumps along the way. Um, we've got around it really, uh, DMG again. They, they actually brought someone in from Italy in the end. This machine was actually manufactured in the Italy plant and brought over from Italy. Um, originally, the training was scheduled with somebody from the UK. But obviously, like say, a few little hiccups along the way, but DMG straight away, somebody in from Italy, flown over especially for us. We had a week training on, on, on this machine on the control bar. Do you feel really confident now with this machine yourself? Yes, yeah, yes. It's FANUC, which is great for us. So obviously SLAM is very similar to all the other machines we've got in the workshop. But then we've got the added func functions of it has actually got a bit of conversational programming on it with like FANUC mates and uh, stuff like that. So yeah. And it's touch screen. How are you finding that? Yeah, it's great. It's a bit different to have a touch screen on the shop floor. You've got to keep it clean. That's why nobody else is allowed to touch it. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really really quite good it's quite interactive and uh, sort of sort of helps you along the way there's a lot of prompts to everything that you do which is is not like your conventional type of screen so yeah and what, what are you planning to put on this machine yeah well we we actually machined a, a, a various amount of materials on it so far that the short time we've had it only six months now I think so we've machined quite a few different materials on it uh, mostly 316 stainless steel which is quite tough but um, we're getting through it we got the higher pressure pump upgraded on it from factory as well so we're actually using through coolant on our cut off tools and stuff like that which is really helping as well. Any other features as an engineer that you're enjoying about the machine um, too? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we spec this one quite well to be fair, it's really highly specced out the factory so we've got the, the addition of the sub spindle in the back end along with the y-axis on the, on the tooling as well so we can uh, use the y-axis, c-axis and the sub spindle so we get parts off completely manufactured start to finish front working back working um, and everything in between really yeah it's brilliant um you know a lot of the time when we speak to engineers they might have a uh, part come in and you'll buy a machine because of that do you feel like a machine like this is the other way around at times so people knowing that you've got this machine in your machine shop now because of course it's replaced an older uh, yeah. machine does that open up more work for you and why? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, initially, like say, we bought it for ourselves to replace old machinery, which is great for us. And we went for the higher spec than we used to have just to get get more productivity for us. But um, having a DMG Mori with this spec on the shop floor is obviously a bit of an opening statement to sort of 
anywhere you go, any shows that you might do. It's certainly on our website and brochure already. So yeah, like I say, it's very nice having this spec machine on the shop floor. A lot of people, they're renowned in, in what they do. I think you're very happy with this machine, yeah, I like aren't this, you? I like this machine. <laughs> yes.